What's up guys, Spin Firearms here, and if you've ever seen this channel before, you know that I have a bunch of series over here. And one of the series is when I get a new firearm, or if it's a used firearm, and I purchase it, bring it home, or even if a buddy lets me review his firearm, we usually do a side-by-side -side size comparison, right? We show that handgun compared to all sorts of handguns, single stacks, full sizes, compacts, subcompacts, whatever the case may be. The reason we do this is one, a lot of people always ask for a gun collection video. I'm not going to do that, but you guys get to see a lot of my different firearms in these videos. Another thing that I like about doing this is you get to see, you know, potentially you own the SIG P365XL, you're in the market for, you know, the mmp 40 c you now can see those two head to head. You know, you have a reference point in your hand, um, which makes it much easier than going to the range or the local store and being like, let me see that P365, that Ruger SR9C, that HK, I want to compare all sizes. That's weird, people are going to look at you, all sorts of crap, right? So this is an easy way to get a nice size comparison. But today we're going to be comparing all these handguns to this um, Springfield Armory XD45 Subcompact. Now we're going to go over a bunch of stuff having to do with its size, comparisons to other handguns in its class, and also we're going to talk about the fact that I got this used for about $325 to $350. Absolutely awesome. Barely any wear, barely any use. Looks like it was carried. Um, shot a little bit, but not too much. So let's go ahead and get into it. My home defense, the Springfield Armory XDM Elite in nine millimeter. This is 13 plus one versus nine plus one in that setup. But it also does come with a 13 round mag as well. That's the XDM on the right. XD subcompact on the left, 13 plus 1 on the right, 9 plus 1 of 45 on the left. Stoger STR9 subcompact, this is 10 plus 1 of 9 millimeter versus 9 plus 1 of 45 on the left. So you can see that being 9 millimeter, obviously, you're going to win in the capacity battle. Sig Sauer P365, and if you want to get a um, grip module like this, this is from Armory Craft, you can use code SPN for 5% off. Absolutely love these grip modules. This is going to be 10 plus 1, or sorry, 11 plus 1 with that base plate compared to 9 plus 1. Wow. Next up, Glock 19. Now this setup is ridiculous, so we're going to just do frame to frame. The frame would be 15 rounds, 15 plus 1, compared to 9 plus 1 on the left. So obviously you get way more capacity, a little bit thinner, but not too noticeable in width. The Stoger STR9 Micro Compact, that's 11 plus 1 of 9mm versus 9 plus 1 of 45 on the left. Man, Micro Compacts really are small. Right here, this is my Glock 30 SF, that's going to be 12 plus 1 of 45 versus 9 plus 1 on the left. Now obviously you have to buy that base plate to make it like that, um, but yeah. Oh yeah, we'll do length because these are very comparable. The XD Subcompact is going to be shorter. In the barrel. Next up, CZ P10S. It's 12 plus 1 versus 9 plus 1. 9 plus 1 is at 45, of course. A lot of these Springfield subcompacts have really, really short slides. Let's do HK P2000 SK and 40. So 9 plus 1 of 45 on the left versus 9 plus 1 of 40 on the right. Very comparable in overall size. Very comparable. Very similar footprint. Glock 26, that's going to be 10 plus 1 of 9 millimeter versus 9 plus 1 of 45 on the left. Absolutely destroys it, especially without that base plate. Absolutely destroys it. Very similar in length of the slide, and the barrel's very similar as well. MP 40C, a fellow stainless steel subcompact. 10 plus 1 of 40 on the right versus 9 plus 1 of <clears throat> 9 plus 1 of 45 on the left. So the MP 40C does beat it by one round. A little bit bigger, thicker, shorter. Walther PPS M2, that's 6 plus 1 or 7 plus 1 because I am using mag guts of 9 millimeter versus 9 plus 1 of 45 ACP. Like I said, guys, used firearms are no no joke. If you look at this, I bought in the same use case. So I think the owner owned both of these. Barely any use, both subcompacts, but this is a 9 has a little bit shorter barrel as you can see by about 0.2 inches I believe or 0.3 inches with overall everything very similar but 13 plus 1 on the right 9 plus 1 of 45 on the left very similar love my XDs absolutely love them 
Next up, Canic Meta MC9. This is 15 plus 1 of 9 millimeter versus 9 plus 1 of 45 on the left. Very interesting. So at the end of the day, it all comes down to will you want a bigger hole um, in something going a little bit slower or and less capacity or a smaller hole, more capacity, and a little bit more velocity. It's all up to you. Um, both will work. Springfield Army Hellcat 11 plus 1 versus 9 plus 1 of 45 ACP on the left. Both Springfields, both in stainless. Absolutely beautiful. Love these two. Six hour P365 XL 12 plus 1 versus 9 plus 1 of 45 ACP on the left. Very comparable in length, but obviously the XL is much, much thinner. Also, another Armory Craft Grip module, code SPN for 5% off. Absolutely love the texturing on them. Right here, another stainless steel, as you can tell from the theme that I love my stainless steel handguns. This is the SD9 2.0 from Smith & Wesson. That's 16 plus 1 and 9 millimeter. Slide, obviously a little bit thinner than the 45. But look at that. Crazy. 43X from Glock. That's 10 plus 1 with OEM mags or 15 plus 1 with PSA dagger or shield arms mags. Wow. Wild. Next up, we'll do my Glock 29. This right here is 11 plus 1 of 10 millimeter versus 9 plus 1 of, sorry, 10 plus 1 of 10 millimeter versus 9 plus 1 of 45 ACP. Glock's a little bit thicker, pretty similar in overall footprint. Just depends on base plates, what mag you're using, that whole sort of thing. 12 plus 1 of 9 millimeter in the CSX. Now, this is going to be a funny comparison. Look at that. That thing is wild. Look at slide to slide is crazy. Look at slide to slide. That's wild. Barrel to barrel. Very cool. Love the CSX. Kimber Mako R7. That's 13 plus 1 and 9 millimeter versus 9 plus 1 of 45 ACP on the left. Length is the same, but width is obviously thinner. Look at that. Pretty cool. Shield Plus. 10 plus 1 and 9 millimeter. Obviously, I have the whole grip making it a little bit thicker. 9 plus 1 of 45 ACP on the left. Shields are just so dang thin. That's why I have to put a whole grip on it. Otherwise, it just feels like something is missing. Another subcompact, MMP9 2.0 subcompact. 12 plus 1 and 9 millimeter. Love this thing. Love the texturing. A little thick though, especially with those safeties. But a great handgun that's reliable nonetheless. Last but not least, another stainless steel option, the Ruger SR9C. That's going to be 10 plus 1 of 9 millimeter versus 9 plus 1, 45 ACP. Very similar in width, length. It's a little bit longer in the Ruger. Very similar in footprints. Love my subcompacts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you got something out of it. That's the Springfield Armory XD 3.3 subcompact and 45 ACP. Grip zone.